Hey you guys. Hello there. Hello there. Um, so today's video is about my experience with Purple Carrot. Um, this experience actually ended up being longer than I thought. I thought I was going to just try one week and then make the video about it, but surprise, I got a second week um, unexpectedly because I forgot to cancel, which is one reason that I try to avoid subscription boxes and subscription services because I always forget to cancel and then I end up with more stuff than I originally wanted. So even though I was a little bit annoyed when I got that notification that I was going to be getting a second box, uh, I, I didn't stay mad for very long because the food was, it was really good. Um, I was not disappointed. So they have a few different plans and I went with the four servings of two meals. Um, for one, because it works out a little bit cheaper that way and two, because I would rather cook a couple of big meals a week and then have leftovers rather than cooking four times in a week. So the original price for the four servings of two meals, which is what I got, is normally $79.92 and I got it for $59.92. The other one is two servings of four meals, which is normally $95.92, or if you're a first time customer, it's $75.92, um, which works out to $11.99 per serving, and mine was $9.99 per serving. I guess I should give a little overview for those who maybe don't know what Purple Carrot is. I'm assuming if you looked up this video, you kind of know what it is, but it's basically they give you um, all of the ingredients that you need to make a particular recipe, and then they give you the recipe cards. It's actually a book, so you get more then the recipes that you ordered, you get all of the recipes for that week. Um, so you go online and you choose which meals you wanna make. Um, but let's say there's like two meals that stand out to you and there's like a third one that you're kind of interested in, but uh, you have to pick two. You'll still get the recipe card for the, uh, the other recipes that you don't choose for that week. So honestly, if that happens, I would suggest just picking the recipes with like harder to find ingredients um, because then you can just always go buy the ingredients for the other ones. So the recipes that I got for the first week, I got a gochujang veggie bowl with uh, midnight grains and kimchi mayo. And I picked this one because I had never tried kimchi before and a lot of places that I go to that have vegan options and they have kimchi, their kimchi is not vegan. It usually has some kind of like fish ingredients. Um, and I've wanted to try kimchi, but I haven't wanted to try it enough to like buy a whole jar of kimchi. So I figured this was a good way to try it and see if I like it, and it turns out I do. So I would definitely buy some to keep in the fridge. Um, I would actually say the kimchi was probably my favorite part of that meal. Overall, it was pretty good. It was a little bit spicier than I would have liked. Um, I usually like spicy condiments and things like that on my food, like jalapenos or hot sauce or whatever, but I don't like the food itself to be spicy, and on this recipe, the gochujang was on the potatoes. So it was like kind of the bulk of the meal was spicy, and I'm not as into that, but it was good. <music> The second meal that I made that week was spicy almond butter noodles with gailan and yellow squash. It's funny to me that that one has spicy in the name because that one I don't think was spicy at all. Um, I think out of all four meals that I made, this one might have been my favorite and probably the most likely to be something that I would make again. It was also my first time trying gailan, which is like a Chinese broccoli. Um, I've also seen it referred to as Chinese kale, um, and I kind of the taste, like taste-wise, I feel like was kind of combination between kale and broccoli like it was leafy it had like leafy greens on it like kale or like collards or something but then it had also a little bit of a stem um it was really good um probably it was my first time trying it and i would say it's probably one of my favorite vegetables and i need to go buy some more <music>
So then the second box that I got, another thing that was a little bit disappointing was that I didn't get any kind of a reminder that it was going to be shipped. Um, so I didn't get to choose my meals. It was just, they just sent me something at random. And before I got my box and I looked at my email to see what I was getting, like I feel like those were the two that I would have been least likely to choose. But once I got them, they were actually pretty good. Um, the first one was a curry, and um, I probably wouldn't have chosen this one because I think curry is usually kind of easy to make. Um, but I've never made this particular kind of curry before, and it was it was nice to have it. Like it was a nice surprise. And I would say out of the four meals that I had, the curry was probably my second favorite. So then the last meal that I made was tofu steaks with cashew hoisin sauce and it came with a spinach salad with mandarin poppy seed dressing. Um, this one actually seemed like the least appetizing to me and I was like really dragging my feet on making it. I actually used the spinach that it came with because everything else was pretty much like not gonna go bad. So I used the spinach that came with the box to make smoothies and then I had to go buy new spinach when I finally <laughs> decided to make the recipe. Um, it was okay. I would say like when I ate it fresh, it was great, but it, it was not so great as leftovers. I actually really like the mandarin poppy seed dressing and it had like chunks of mandarin oranges in it. Um, I would definitely make that again with a spinach salad. And um, I also liked that they had the, the rice was kind of speckled with quinoa, which isn't something that I usually do, but I'm getting tired of my own cooking and I need to make things more exciting for myself. So I'm definitely gonna do that like with my own boring dinners <laughs> moving forward. So yeah, overall, I mean, the food was good. The recipes were good. I like that they are recipes that I can make again. So it's kind of like introducing you to a new recipe. And if you decide it's something you like, you can definitely go get the ingredients at the grocery store and make them yourself. Um, I like that it comes with bonus recipes that aren't in your box, but you can still go make them later. The obvious downside though of Purple Carrot is that it does come with a lot of packaging, um, including like the individual ingredients are all like wrapped and like come in little plastic jars and stuff like that but also the uh the box that comes with like ice packs it comes with like some insulation it comes with a lot of stuff so if you're trying to avoid if you're trying to reduce like food packaging and waste and stuff like that this might not be the best option i was thinking it would be kind of cool if they had like meal kits at the grocery store instead because that would cut down on some of the like the exterior packaging and like the shipping and stuff but um i have seen that at whole foods i think and i think target also has one but it's like a basic taco kit like for beyond meat it still looks good but it's not um, as much as purple carrot has going on. Oh, another downside was that I had in both boxes, um, each box had one ingredient that wasn't good. Um, in the first box, I had some radishes that were, I would say of all of the radishes that I got, half of them were like brown inside. Um, and in the second box, it was the bell peppers for the curry. I think they had gotten wet or something because they were a little bit moldy and like gross, but I had some frozen bell peppers uh, on hand, so I just used those instead. And it was fine, but it was still a little bit disappointing that I was using my own ingredients when I had like bought them with the kit. Um, but yeah, other than those two problems, everything else is really good. I also realized that I wrote in my notes that I, I felt good those weeks. Like I felt like, I mean, these are pretty much like whole food plant-based kind of things not like super processed um i just felt like my energy and whatnot were pretty good that week it was like i momentarily felt the benefits of eating whole food plant-based and then uh went right back to eating beyond burgers so yeah i would say like because of the packaging thing this probably isn't something that i would do on a regular basis but it's nice to kind of break up, like if you're in quarantine and you're getting bored of your own cooking and you wanna try something else, or maybe um, you're a new vegan and you're just learning how to cook, um, because I never knew how to cook before I was vegan, like I kind of had to learn how. Um, this would have been great for like that situation. I also kind of take for granted that like we have a decent number of vegan restaurants here in the South Bay and like in Los Angeles. So like if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of vegan options in your area, you're probably really getting bored of your own cooking. I think this would probably be good for people like that. Or like if you need like a date night idea, um, you can't go anywhere. You're probably getting sick of each other and you need something to do. Go order yourselves a purple carrot box. It'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I think that is all I have to say about purple carrot. Um, overall, my review is pretty positive. 
um i had a good experience i'm glad that i tried it i wish they could figure out a way to do it with less packaging um but if you are curious about it i would say definitely it is worth a try so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video but if there are any other uh meal kits services thingies that you want me to try uh let me know in the comments because uh i am looking for more things to review and uh i want to review the things that you want to watch because you're going to be the ones watching them so let me know if you have uh requests or suggestions uh otherwise i'll see you next time